how to paint a tree. I am Dairo Vargas and I'm going to show you step by step the easiest way to paint a tree with acrylics. Coming up. To paint our tree, first we're going to create a shape. Um, so let's imagine we're going to have our tree or coming this way. So it's important first to create a notion, an idea of where and how our tree is going to be. So let's imagine our tree is going to come just this way and then maybe the branches is going to come. Let's make it a bit more interesting that is a tree that is coming this way. So it's important just to have the idea of where it's going to be. We can put some, some of the branches there. So this is the first the first part that we that we do. Then we'll be, we are going to be using white, yellow, blue, red and black. Um, first we're going to paint our trunk. Uh, the, tr the trunk is going to be um, is going to be mixing a bit of red, going to have blue and yellow. So just to create a bit of sort of brownish uh, color sort of dark brown that's what we have and then I start adding drawing my my lines we can just come back to dust we can just come back to them later um, so now what we're gonna be thinking is in light and shadow so the light we are gonna make the light coming from this uh, from this side so therefore these areas are going to be lighter and this is going to be darker just to keep in mind so we're going to do then the same we can come back to this we can apply a tiny bit of uh, black and red and then do our dark areas just very loose we paint it there remember that we have a branch coming from here uh, we can use a bit of um water so it runs and then we can just put some if we need some we can come back and add more if if, if we feel that we need them uh to to have some of them um, so we can have it like this remember that the the tree is not is not very it's not straight it has some ins and outs uh so we can build that texture um Later on, what we're gonna add is more light in this part. But for now, this is this is the the first mix. So now we are gonna do is a, a mix a very dark green, very dark green. We can put it even a tiny bit of a black. I'm gonna be using two brushes, and this is um um thinner brush, and this is gonna be a flat brush that is gonna help me to create the texture on this. Um, so with our mix, we probably will need more because this brush absorb all the and more green. So this is a very dark. You can even add more then it's not too dark. It's quite dark. And then we're gonna start adding them on our dark areas. Let's try to leave these this part, you know, the the, the end of the brush create that texture. We can start just leaving and building it with that. Still, we can figure out all these areas, and they're gonna be darker. The top is gonna be lighter. So I just keep on adding and leave some. I leave some part just almost like leaves, just falling, like being a bit looser. There, so I create some of these. I also remember to leave some of the branches they're visible so we just cover these spaces also it's interesting to leave this sort of white area that is almost coming through so I like that so this is going to be our, my first sort of part we can add a bit more maybe here so let's try not to get to the edge of this one now what we are going to do the next is to mix another sort of lighter green. So I'll bring more of my my blue, a little blue and a bit of yellow. This is lighter, as you can see, we can even add more than that. 
so this is interesting this color what we can do is just keep it on the side and then we will come back to that one and make this one slightly more darker and then we start coming on top of my previous brushes brush strokes can even add some there just adding more light remember to keep some of the previews that we don't need to cover everything it's important to leave some behind of the dark bit that we already applied that's what we do we can start now coming on top of these part here that we didn't paint before you see that the brush is creating some nice textures there so now we start building the volume color now we now this part we need to mix another color so now we have ready this color here so we are going to use this one it's a lighter one and now we are going to be creating some light and shadow so now you will see we are applying to some of the parts remember to leave some gaps and then we can see through our darkest color the idea is to see all the type of greens that we are building So this we just put in some areas we are assigning some of these parts in here we just build it there we put you see we don't need to cover everything we just start bringing a bit of color and adding in some parts building so definitely we need to have more color here still we need to see some of the darks behind it's important there, there is now we need to create another mix lighter one so we are going to start adding more yellow i'm going to clean my brush so it doesn't bring all the dark previous dark so now i start bringing a bit of um, white to my mix and uh, maybe a bit more yellow so now having this mixed we can keep on doing remember that now we are going to touch less areas so now we just place some of them there now we can start seeing a bit of the randomly we are going to put apply some of the lights in certain areas Here definitely is gonna be more I'm gonna add a bit more white and we start putting it in this section. I just need to add a, a few here, not too many. So now we start seeing what is in and what is out. Can have a couple that are random here, some light ones also in this area here. What we are gonna do now next, I'm gonna add a couple, a few more here. You see, now we are gonna add more white to my mix, a tiny bit of blue because I'm losing now the green a bit of yellow again so now this you see this mix it's going to be very light compared to the what we have there so i'm going to bring this one to some specific areas so i'm going to put just a few there so now you see this more light coming to different parts it's almost like some leaves have been touched by this light You are. 
I can leave some of them very loose, almost like they disappearing upside with this new mix. We're gonna add a few of them from here. Definitely we're gonna put some here. Maybe some here, the light is hitting some of them there. Okay, now the next thing that we need to do is remember that we had this here, the light here. Well, now that we have this mix actually here, we can apply that one to the ground. See, we are, um, I'm just leaving it almost like it's grass. Very loose. Just applying the different. I'm just leaving some space, it's almost like it's also a bit of light coming. On the ground the same i could bring a tiny bit of this light in some of these parts there and what is important now i'm gonna mix i'm gonna bring my my thin brush and we mixed a bit of the brown color with this one and create light coming to some of these parts here. Tiny bit of red, maybe a bit more yellow. And this one, you can, some of these there. I bring a bit of white. You are just to create a texture, you can do it maybe that way. And I can have a bit of these mixed darker brown, put it in these areas because last time it was a bit too dark. You are. So if we want to bring also a few of the branches, we can make these branches down here like darker. This it should be darker there. And we can also add like some of them are just coming passing there. Some of the branches down one here. There you are. Maybe something just coming out there. So that's the tree. Thank you for watching. Please help me out. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit the red button and share it with your friends.